with the Malta Affairs and Convention Center for the 2012 Eurovision Song Contest. <laughs> Next to me is a whole group called Kaya, but actually Kaya is the lady here. <laughs> it's lady. Hello. And it's not, not your first time. Oh, no. That's the song title you have, but uh, it's not the first time that you actually do it's Eurovision. It's your third time. Tell us a bit more about the, uh, the other two times you've been at the national final. Yes, the first time uh, was in 2000. Um, where I sang the song Our Love and I was placed in the in third position and then second there was Fabrizio and first Claudette Patch with Desire um, the second time was in 2010 with Kurt Kalleja with the song Waterfall and now the third time um, with a composer um, and daughter from Greece, Georgie Kalpakidis mm -hmm. um, uh, with the song First Time so actually it's your third time but your first time <laughs> yes, yes <laughs> The first time I have this group with the Begging Bogies, you know, and it's so amazing. Can you introduce the group, actually, who is here? Let's start on that side. Yes. Uh, actually, I'm a vocal teacher, so some of them was, was once students, so we are really working tight, you know. This is Jay Chini. Sometimes she participated even in the Junior Eurovision here in Malta. Okay, fantastic. I've been there actually in, in November, sorry, December in, in Yerevan. Yes, That's yes. a good, a good uh, amazing experience to do that, actually, yeah. for the kids. This is Joe de Magri. This is Raiza Piscopo. She has been, uh, um, I think, for three times in yes. the juniors too. Yes. And this is Florent. And and there's a man. The last, <laughs> <laughs> my <laughs> brother. He's my brother, eh? He's the guitarist. Okay. Now tell us a bit about the song the first time. What it what it is all about, and how did that collaboration come together with the Greek songwriter? Yes, um, uh, with Georgie, it wasn't the first time that we worked. Um, uh, we started working together about a year now. I issued an album in uh, last February, which uh, was issued in the United States in New York. Um, uh, we really had a good feedback about this album and um, uh, he started to write the song first time um, and he told me that it is for Eurovision. Um, first time has something special for me because it's a very dramatic ballad. It's not mm -hmm. the usual ballads we hear every year but it, uh, it has some uh, dramatic and in the chorus it goes a little bit even a bit rockish and uh, a bit of uh, ethnic music. So. It's special for me. Well, it's, it's amazing because not many artists from Malta go abroad and, and sell their music. And so you, you did that in the States? Yes. Tell yes. us more about the album itself. Album itself. The song, uh, the, the, the main song of the album is Your Touch. It's written by the Georgia Kalpakidis. Um, but in the album, I, don't, I, I have more songs written by other composers, not by only Georgie. Mm -hmm. um, I have uh, by Yaron, he's from Israel. I have even a song written by my brother, Dorian, um, and I also have another of Maltese compos composers, Max Peter Lucas, and uh, it's, it's a bit mixed, you know? And there is ballet, rock, dance, music. So. Something of everything, basically. Plans to work on another album coming up after the Eurovision? Yes, after the Eurovision. Um, I was planning to go to New York again. Mm -hmm. And we'll see from there. <laughs> I can say that much. <laughs> uh, what are your expectations from taking part in the national final in Malta? Mm. Um, it's, it's very nice to be participating for your country. Especially when you are abroad there in the Eurovision. It's nice um, that you, it's not only your name, Kaya, but you will have Kaya from Malta. Yes. And I think that it makes you proud from a small country Sometimes when I go, when I was in, in New York, they told me, oh, a little girl, a small island, but a big voice. So it's nice to carry with you the, 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 the region of your country. Kaya, actually, is not your real name. We talked about that yes. before. It was, it's Priscilla, is it? Yes. So how did you come up with Kaya? It's, it was all in the United States. They told me, from here, you're going to start another future. So change everything. But... <laughs> Here in Malta, they still calling me Priscilla Psylo because it's new for mm. them. Because I came here in March and it's, it's still new, you know. But they are getting used to it. You had a fantastic song, Waterfall, together with Kurt. Any plans to continue with doing duets like that? Um, for now, I'm really not planning for doing duets. Mm -hmm. um, but I love duets. 
So who knows? <laughs> For now I have first time, I'm concentrating on this weekend and after this weekend we'll start doing another job. <laughs> How easy is it for you to be on the rehearsals here today? Um, is everything going okay or you have yes. some problems? Yes, yeah, you will have some problems with the sound, but everything is, is uh, coordinating day by day, you know? Um, today it was much better than yesterday. Mm. Um, uh, we're going to change a bit the lights and everything, but it's okay. <laughs> Let's go back to the history of Eurovision itself for Malta. What is your favorite Eurovision entry for Malta? For Malta? Hmm. I think uh, the song I liked all was More Than Love by Moira and Chris. More Than Love. I like that song. Wow, nice. And internationally, have you got a, a song that you really that sticks out to your mind yes. from the Eurovision Song Contest? Everywhere that I can. <laughs> I love that song. It's the Turkish one from 2003 that won yes. for Serta Verenea. Now, a lot of Maltese singers have a second job. What is your second job? Second job from what? Yeah. Or are you a full-time singer in Malta or you have another job? Oh, yes. I'm totally in music. Totally in that's music? My, yes, that's my full-time job. I'm a vocal teacher and I'm a composer too. Okay, so you have the, your vocal students here as well? Yes, not all. Florian oh. is not. She's a singer. She has a band. Okay, so, wow. All right. Yes. So, so you, you are planning to actually come, come back to Eurovision again next time in case... It, let me rephrase again. In case it doesn't go well for you this time, will you to go and attempt again at the international final? It depends how the coordination with the New York and the United States will work. I will see from that. But maybe it will be the first time and the last time. <laughs> Who knows? But I think uh, I will. Okay. Never give up. We wish you all the best of luck to yeah, Italia. It, it isn't that I, I give up, not taking no. part, yeah? Yeah, yeah? It's because maybe I will be busy with another things. But uh, yes, I'm looking forward to competing. Thank you very much. All the best of luck for you on yeah. the semi-final on Friday and get the ticket into the final. And yes. hopefully then to Baku. Yes. Okay. yes. Thanks a lot. Thank Bye. You. Bye.